Hello guys. How are you? Hello Kimberly, Nancy, Carla. Hi teacher. How are you today? Hello, Christian. Hello, good, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Everything's good. I'm fine. En un momento encenderé mi cámara, solo voy a terminar de llegar a la casa. Okay. Thank you. No, no problem. Faltan thank tres minutos. You, you. Gracias. Three minutes.
Okay, eight o'clock. We have to be punctual, very punctual. Welcome, Rolando, Carlos. How are you today? Ready to start? Just to, I'm going to stop this. And, oops, I forgot something. Give me a second. To take advantage of the time, do you remember that you were going to read a short paragraph, a short routine? So who wants to begin? What about, let's see. Mm, don't forget your camera, okay, in the, time at the moment that you can please so a uh, i'm trying to choose a volunteer or trying to pick someone i don't know if there are no volunteers victor what about you fine yes i'm fine teacher are you i'm cool everything's good mm -hmm. And do you have your short description? Yes, sir, I have my description. Perfect, can you read it, please? Okay. It's my description, what my day, my day start and wake up, up, wake up at 5 a.m. and take a shower and I have a breakfast. Only, only that? My work start oh. at two clients and technicians. Mm -hmm. My work and is from 8 to 9 p.m. and I have a dinner and go to sleep around to 11 p.m. Around 11, that's very late. Mostly with the, with the English class, right? It's late. Very good, Victor. Well done. Thank you, Thank you very much. Next, quickly, just one, two, or three, okay? What about uh, Veronica? Well, not just good, uh, good afternoon. <laughs> good evening. Carlos, uh, a lot of people are missing, right? Hola, quisiera decir uh, mi rutina. Go ahead. Okay, okay. my daily routine. I wake up um five a.m. Um after work um uh shower um brush my teeth. Uh, I dress for work. I feed my cat later. <laughs> okay. Uh, finally, dry to work.
Do you drive every day? Probably yes. Yo, teacher, la rutina. Okay, Jose, welcome. Uh, I went up at uh, 6 a.m. at uh, 4.15 do uh, exception. At 6 13 I take a shower. At uh, 7 I had breakfast. At 7 uh, 15 I had I had shopping trainer at the range in the N N E S P. Perfect, excellent. Thank you very much. The last one, because remember that we don't have time enough. Okay, so one more. The last one. Fast, quickly. Maria Stephanie? Yes, ready? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. I, I describe my day, daily routine. Um, I get up uh, 7 a.m. Um, and take a shower, brush my teeth, and all after that, um, cleaning my house in working working here um in this my work is social media social media and business business uh, muebles como se dice en inglés furniture 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 um, and that's all <laughs> okay very good thank you very much now the rest i hope you remember victor's routine carlos routine and stephanie's routine because i want you to tell me what you remembered about victor carlos and stephanie Example, I remember that Carlos drives to work. Okay, now, ¿qué recuerdan de los tres compañeros? One or two sentences, one or two activities. And the first uh, classmate um, I remember the job at 5 a.m. He gets up at 5 a.m. Is gets that correct, Victor? Yes, it's correct. Cool. Uh -huh. Good. Thank you very much. What else? What else do you remember? Uh, to take a bus. Take a bus. Uh, they go uh, work it support uh, it support it's the, that's all this I remember mm -hmm. he takes the bus he takes the bus he takes the bus perfect more more sentences what do you remember about Carlos routine Sorry, I um, no puse atención lo de él. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés para poderlo repetir? <laughs> Casi no la puse atención. I, I did not. I did not pay I did attention. Not, I did not pay attention. Okay. Yeah, but the question is the, for everybody, uh, for everyone. Uh, second 
um, class classmate classmate um the three two class three classmates and the police station then uh, I remember the um I know no sé cómo se dice que hace ejercicio eh dijo que hacía ejercicio he does exercises he does exercises or you can say he exercises he exercises mm -hmm. he is he is exercised okay exercise okay thank you very much stephanie okay now i guess everybody is connected so i'm going to call your names and say present or here okay uh, alison rachel celis ortiz No. Eh, Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cristian Alexander Pérez Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Artiaga Benítez. Present. Thank you. José Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Carla Elizabeth Hernandez Peña. Present. Thank you. Kenia Briseida Torres Martinez. Present. Kimberly Janine Aguillon Lopez. Present. Thank you. Lindsay. Indira Lobo Diaz. Thank you. María Ana de Jesús González. Marianne. She's not here. And María Stephanie Orellana Flores. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Nancy Edith. Cruz Mejia. Present. Thank you. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Thank you very much. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landaverde. Present coach. Thank you. Verónica Magali Martinez Martinez. Present. Thank you very much. Victor Manuel Guardado Torres. Present coach. Thank you. Vilma Rubenia Campos Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Hello. Uh, este, le quería informar que tal vez no voy a estar completamente en la clase porque estoy en mi trabajo. Ok. Así que... Porque posiblemente puede ser que, te, que tenga que salir un momento y por si me llama y no contesto, es, es Ok, ok, ok. Eh, nice. Mm. Eh, María Ana is here en el chat veo que está pero me gustaría escucharlos please sí, um, dice que tiene un problema ajá ok con la computadora ok ok thank you very much um,
Okay, so only Allison is missing. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't know if you have any question or problem, something with the platform. Any doubt? Alguna duda? Algo específico para resolverlo? Grammar, pronunciation. I suppose you are working right on the platform. You are watching the videos. You are doing the exercises. Any problem? You don't have problems? Rolando? No sé si tengo problemas en el 1.10. No sé, he intentado de varias maneras hacer como las oraciones, pero no sé por qué no me sale bien. Y he visto el video, he visto los videos, y no sé. Ok. Let me, let me go to the platform. <coughs> La sección de um, Simple Present. ¿En cuál sección es? La evaluación de después de la... O sea, ahí dice 1.10. Bueno, punto... 1.8 dice al final de esta clase ustedes serán capaces de formar en la semana 1. Entonces, la Knowledge check. Mm -hmm. Oops. Teacher, lo siento. Oops. ¿Qué, ¿Qué fue lo que pasó? Es que me ha tocado conectarme a la computadora y del teléfono porque la computadora no me agarra ni el micrófono ni la, ni la cámara. Ok, ok, ok. No problema. Uh -huh. El eco. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, these ones, these sentences. It says. Uh, Descifre las preguntas para completar la conversación. A, acá lo que debes de formar es preguntas. Si es este ejercicio al que te referías. Sí, es, pero no sé. Sí, uh, yo he formado varias. La estructura, así como dice en el video anterior. Uh -huh. Y he formado de otra forma. Y siempre me sale que está mal. Este, teacher, yo también he tenido problemas con ese ejercicio. Yo específicamente en el número tres, porque concuerdo con el compañero que ya lo hice de varias maneras, pero no me sale bien. Entonces no sé qué cosa me habré equivocado para en cuanto al orden de las palabras. En mi caso es en el número tres. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, ahorita estoy... Porque a mí lo, el problema es que no me deja escribir. Oh, sí puede. En, en el recuadro, Lick. O oh, si sí puede explicar usted la elección, porque quizás he dejado algo ahí como algo okay. vacío. Uh, por ejemplo, acá, porque dice unscramble. 
Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. Entonces lo que deben de formar es la pregunta. Si la respuesta dice at 1 p.m. Y luego tienen acá las preguntas que deben usar. Tienen eh, para preguntar a qué horas. Tendría que comenzar what time. What time. At, at 1 p.m. What time. Do you eat lunch? Si pueden irlas escribiendo, tendría que ser la pregunta de esa forma. What time do you eat lunch? Veamos la tres. Dice, no, this class starts at nine o'clock. Entonces, si ordenan la pregunta, sería... Eh, hay dos tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? Tenemos las preguntas que inician con las palabras interrogativas, como el what, when, where, why, who, how, right? Se le llaman... WH questions. WH questions, exactly. Y luego tenemos las yes, no questions que son las que comienzan con el auxiliar do o does, ¿ok? En este caso, si estamos hablando de la clase, se refiere a algo, por eso tenemos el auxiliar does. Y la respuesta comienza con el no. Entonces, tiene que ser la, una pregunta de yes, no question. Entonces, tendría que ser does, uh -huh. does, this, does this class, uh -huh. star, Continue. At a o'clock. Perfect. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Tendría que ser la pregunta. Y luego responde, no. This no. class starts at nine o'clock. Entonces, tal vez el, el orden donde colocan las palabras podría ser el problema. Let's check number four. I study English in the evening. In the evening. What is the question? When do you study English? That's correct. Very good. When do you study English? I study English in the evening. Perfect, mister. Number five. Yes. Pregunta de sí o no. Go ahead. Yes, Mr. Alexander. Uh, when we play soccer on Saturday, do you and your friends play? Do you, do you and your friends play sport on weekend, weekends? Perfect. Algo ahí, ya que estamos practicando speaking, la pronunciación o en este caso la entonación. Como es pregunta, darle el tono de pregunta. Do, do you and your friends play sports on the weekends? Right? The intonation. Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Yes, we play soccer on Saturdays. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Any other problem? Eh, ¿Así las habían hecho o cómo les había quedado a ustedes? Ah, justo así las había hecho, pero igual me sale error. Y de ahí las ordené de otra forma. Igual siempre me salía error. Entonces. Probemos algo. Es posible que la plataforma eh, tenga conflictos con mayúsculas, tal vez, minúsculas. Eh, no sé si comenzaron la oración con minúscula y tal vez debieron haberla comenzado con mayúscula. Eh, puede pasar. Mm, están con mayúscula. Ah, ahí voy a mandarle la captura. Ok. Para... Ok. O... Yo la hago con minúscula y igual me sale mala. 
y estaba revisando la, la escritura para ver si me había comido alguna letra. Eh. Pero igual me sale mal y también está bien escrito. Oh, oh. En, la, en la tercera y en la quinta. Ok. Um, so, pueden enviarme eh, eso, la captura. Ok, so what time do you eat lunch? Ajá. Uh -huh. That's it. Eh, y solicitar yo para ver si pueden darle una revisión a la plataforma. Ok, so, ok. Send me the, the screenshot and I will try to speak to the technician. I don't know. Probably they can check the, the platform. Probably there's a, a, a problem, right? Any other question, problem, comment? I don't know. Thank you. Okay. Esperemos que en el examen no, no existe ese conflicto, ¿no? But I'm, I'm going to check that, okay? I'm going to check that. No more problems? I don't know problem. Okay, so let's continue with the section. We have to complete this section, right? Um, let's see. In this case, we're going to speak about a family. And we're going to practice this vocabulary. Uh, there you have complete the sentences about the Carter family. Then listen and check your answers. Anne is Paul's wife. So you have to make the relationship. Okay. If you see, we have Paul, Anne. Paul is husband, Anne, wife. Paul is father and mother. Both are parents and they have children, a son, a daughter, Jason and Emily. Jason the brother, Emily the sister. Now, number two in the sentence, Jason and Emily are there. We're talking about Anne and Paul. Jason and Emily are there. No está presentando eso. Está presentando la plataforma. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I was presenting it. Okay. Thank you very much. But you have the, the manual, right? So there you have again, Paul and husband, wife, father, mother, parents, son, daughter, children, brother, sister, Jason, Emily. So in the sentences, we are going to make the relationship, la relación que hay entre ellos. Anne is Paul's wife. Jason and Emily are their children's children. Children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Children. Paul is Anne's husband. 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 Good. Husband. Um, okay. Jason is Anne's son. Son. Emily is Paul's daughter. Daughter. Good. Emily is Jason's. Your sister. Sister. Paul. Sister. Yeah, sister. Paul and Anne are Jason's. Are your parents? Parents. 
his parents. Mm -hmm. Jason, right? Parents. So I'm going to read again the words. Husband, wife, father, mother, parents, son, daughter, children, brother, sister. Okay? Now, yesterday we practiced, if you remember, affirmative sentences. Do you remember that I showed some sentences? And there you have more examples. Um, I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. He works, and this is what we practiced yesterday. He, right? He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. Now, we're going to practice these negative sentences. I guess that you already did it. Affirmative, I walk to school. Negative, I don't live far from here. For negative sentences, we use auxiliary. Do or does. In negative, don't, doesn't, right? I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He doesn't. Now, we use does, como alguien dijo ayer, terceras personas del singular. He, she, it. We use in negative sentences, doesn't. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. They don't need a car. And contractions, right? You can use the complete form or you can abbreviate. Don't, the short form, abbreviation. Or you can use do not. Do not. Doesn't, abbreviation. Or you can use the complete form. Does not. Does not. Affirmative sentences, negative sentences. Um, if I ask, oops. Uh, you practice questions, right? If I ask, um, Victor, do you have brothers? No, I don't. Brothers, I have three sisters. Good. Jesus, do you have sisters? No, I don't know. I don't have. I don't have I don't. sisters. Mm -hmm. Veronica, do you have brothers? Yes, I have brothers. Uh, one. One brother. Okay. Um, Jose Alexander, do you have sisters? Yes, teacher. I mm have -hmm. a sister. I have sister. I have sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, you can uh, use, right, affirmative sentences or negative uh, sentences. In this exercise, it says, um, oops, Paul Carter is talking about his family. Complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. Then compare with a partner. In parentheses, you have the verbs, right? So you have to complete the ideas using the correct form. Let's do it. Uh, it says, my family and I 
live in the suburbs. My wife and I help me. Work. Work. Work near here. So we was. We walk. Walk. We walk to work. Our daughter Emily work downtown. Works. Works. Works downtown. So she drives. Drives. Drives to work. Our son. Our son don't dance doesn't doesn't our son doesn't, doesn't drive. drive perfect he right rides his bike to school it's I need to school. I need one who wants to read number two the second paragraph can you you seen the correct verbs. I can try. All right. My parents lives in the city. My mother take a train to work. My father is retired. So he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation. So they doesn't need a car. Thank you very much. Another person, another volunteer to compare answers. Who wants to try? What about let's see don't forget your camera guys, please. Yo puedo leerlo. Ok, thank you very much. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is re, no sé cómo se dice retirado. Retired. 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 So he doesn't work now. He also use, uses public transport. So they doesn't need a car. Okay. We are going to check some, some words. One more. Another participant. I participate. Okay. Kenya. Okay. Um. I walk to a school. You ride your bike to a school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They, they use public transportation. I don't live far here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't ride to work. We don't like alone. They don't need a car. Okay. No. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, well, the verb leave. They don't leave. Okay. Leave. I leave. They leave. They don't leave, leave, okay? But we were reading the paragraph, but that's okay, no problem. You practice pronunciation and reading, good. I guess, Thank you. Uh, Kenya, I guess, wants to read the second paragraph? Yes. Go ahead. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired, so...
Uy. Work now. He also uses public transportation, so they don't need a car. Thank you very much, Kenya. Nice. Now I'm going to read it. Pay attention. My parents live in the city. My mother. Sorry, my mother takes a Chase. train, takes a train to work. My father is retired, retired, retired. so he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation, so they, they don't, see. they don't need a car. They don't need a car. Okay. Any problem with affirmative and negative sentences? Um. Yes. Ah, para preguntar sería el. Para hacer preguntas. Uh -huh. Let's see. I guess question. Ajá, sería, don. Doble o question no sería. Si nos movemos acá, acá tenemos el tipo de preguntas. We have these two types or questions, right? Yes, no questions and WH questions. For example, we can, in questions, we use do and does. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. ¿Te levantas tú temprano? No, me levanto tarde. Si nos referimos igual a las terceras personas, he, she, it, usamos el, el auxiliar does. Does he? Does he have lunch at noon? No. He eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes. They drive to work every day. Luego tenemos las de WH. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. Uh, I'm going to do something. Uh, um, I don't like this because the time is very short, right? I'm going to show you something. Just very fast, very quick. Let me see. Check this. These are the um, negative sentences, right? How we form. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay, very fast. This is affirmative, right? I play tennis, he plays tennis, we play tennis. But in negative, we have to use the auxiliary. You see, I don't play tennis. Rapidito lo negativo para luego llegar un poquito a explicarles lo de las preguntas. I play, I don't play, okay? Affirmative, negative. I like pizza. Affirmative. I like pizza. In negative, we use auxiliary and verb. 
I don't like. I don't like pizza. Okay, I don't like pizza. I, I. But do you remember we practice affirmative con las terceras personas? Mom, my mom, my, my mother works on Fridays. Porque si es afirmativo, le agregamos una S, ¿verdad? A las terceras personas del singular. But in negative, in negative, ¿cómo sería esta? Negative sentence. Mom do doesn't Mom don't work. work. Perfect. First, we omit the S in the verb. ¿Ok? We omit the S. Y omitimos la S debido a auxiliary verb. Doesn't. Mom doesn't work on Fridays. Negative sentence. Mom doesn't. Yo siempre he tenido esa duda. ¿Cuándo se usa doesn't y don't? Ok. Eh, well, ahí estaba, ¿no? Acá está. Toma la foto. Screenshot. There you have. We use don't with I, you, we, they. We use does or doesn't in negative with he, she, it. And what happens? Si, si usamos el auxiliar con ellos, las terceras personas, desaparece la S del verbo. I don't... Coach, yep. Call, call you sent uh, a screenshot to groups the whatsapp um yes and i can send you the presentation so you have the presentation oh, too. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> yes uh and try to remind me okay recuerdenme ya les conté un poquito mi horario y ya no sé so re remind me hey teach you are so tired <laughs> yes and, and sometimes I forget things. But if you see, um, don't and doesn't, right? There you have. You use don't with I, you, we, they. You use doesn't, okay? Um, with he, she, it. Oops. Okay? And if we use the auxiliary, we don't need the letter S in the verb, okay? That's about negative sentences, okay? Um, I'm going to explain something about the questions. But give me a second. Teacher, si no mal recuerdo el día de ayer en uno de los videos, Vi que decía que se agregaba la, la S a la tercera persona del singular. Exactly. Pero en la forma afirmativa. Lo que vimos ayer, le agregamos S en la forma afirmativa, como she, she likes pizza. A ella le gusta la pizza. Pero luego si decimos que no le gustan las hamburguesas, She doesn't like hamburgers. ¿Ok? La S la agregamos en las terceras personas, he, she, it, en la forma afirmativa. Luego, cuando negamos, usamos el auxiliar doesn't y el verbo ya no necesita la S. ¿Ok? Ok. Now, questions. For questions, we use... We can use do. Okay. I do. <laughs> do or does. Do do you do you work? Question. Uh, does he work? Does he, right? He. Or what about does she? Does she like pizza? ¿Le gusta a ella la pizza? Okay. Does she like pizza? Eh, 
do they because it's they we use they do they do they play sports oops uh sports right do they play sports and those are just no questions a esas le llamamos just no questions uh, porque la respuesta es un sí o un no do you work yes i do uh, do you work no i don't does he work yes he does or no he doesn't does she like pizza yeah she does she likes pizza do they play sports yes they do yes they play sports okay um then we have questions um that's wh questions what um las palabras interrogativas what when where why uh, what when where why who okay and how Esas son palabras interrogativas, las WH words. So, we can use, um, what do you, what do you eat for lunch? Oops. Ah, come on. Mm -hmm. What do you eat for lunch? ¿Qué comes para el almuerzo? Or, when when do you go uh, when do you go to the beach when do you go to the beach oh I go to the beach on Saturday okay and we can change this what does what does Y cambiamos el sujeto. What does she? What does she eat for lunch? Ah, she eats pasta for lunch. When, when does he? When does he go to the beach? Y si la respondemos sería una afirmación. Oh, he goes to the beach on Saturdays, Peter. Mm -hmm. When does he go to the beach? He goes to the beach on Saturdays. And there you have affirmative sentences, negative sentences, just no questions and WH questions. I know that I insist the time is very short and there is a lot of grammar and obviously we need a lot of practice, right? Comments, questions? Te he una pregunta. ¿Por qué al verbo se le agrega el S al final? He goes. Oh. Es presente progresivo. Mm, no. Let me see. Give me a second. Um... No sé si han revisado una parte. Um, short answers. No sé si lo han revisado. Una parte gramatical donde dice state, statements with irregular verbs. O son verbos. Ah, acá está. Le voy a mostrar. This part. 
ciertos verbos no solamente van a agregar S, sino también una E, ES. ¿Cuáles verbos? Um, bueno, esto lo, esta parte lo pueden encontrar eh, en el manual, en la plataforma. Okay. Acá está Simple Present States, Statements with Irregular Verbs. Um, in this case, we can see have, do, and go. If you see, the bus goes, he goes, she goes. But the rule, there is a rule. Now I'm going to, let me see. I don't have space here. I'm going to give you the rules. In a second. But you can find, eso lo, lo encuentran en el manual. I'm going to give you. Let's see this. Uh, but I need. Anyways, I'm going to use this one, but I'm going to insert. What happened here? Verbs ending in verbos que terminan en S. S H C H X O mm -hmm. oh, and Z also Z in these verbs, for example, in terceras personas sería um, she we have wash. Entonces agrega ES, no solamente la S. She washes. He watches. O sea, los, los verbos que terminan en esas letras, S, S, H, C, H, X, Z, O, agregan ES, no solamente la S. Ok. She washes, he washes. Um, he eh, fixes computers. He fixes computers. Eh, he go, as the example, goes. He goes to church. Va a la iglesia. He goes to church. Okay. Um, Another one. Oh, he, let's see, or we can say um, Jose does exercises every day. Okay, so that's the rule. That This is another rule. Verbos que terminan con esas letras agregan ES. Okay. So that's it. good. Any other question, comment? Teacher, if for example, come is very irregular. Come. This one, come. Yes. Um, yes, <laughs> it's irregular. 
pero en este caso no aplica la regla. Eh, acá eh, es, ya sería cuando hablamos de presente o pasado. Eso ya es harina de otro costal. Sí es irregular, pero no estamos hablando de, 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 de esta regla. Aquí no aplica. Esto es porque, digamos, he, he comes. He comes every day. He comes every day. Él viene a diario. Pero si decimos el vino, ajá, ahí cambia el verbo. He came, pero ya ha pasado. Sí es irregular, ¿no? Pero para cuando hablamos de tiempos, presente o pasado. He comes every day. He came yesterday. Él vino ayer. Irregular porque pasa de ser come a came. Por eso es irregular. Pero no aplica para lo que estamos viendo en este tema. ¿Ok? What else? We finish. It's nine. Flies. Time flies. And you are hungry. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. I need dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs dinner. Uh, guys, again, uh, work, please. Do exercises, watch tutorials, watch the videos on the platform. And if you have any comment, question, ask me. We work on that tomorrow. Okay? okay. I wish you the best. Okay? And keep okay. on working. Don't forget, again, the attendance to be on time and please the camera and participation. Thank you for everyone who participates. Very good. Thank you very much. Have a good Thank night, you. guys. See you Thank tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Good, good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.